Hello everyone. Today we'll talk about Creative Commons licenses and uh, we will try to understand the meaning and use of Creative Commons licenses and see how to include them in your academic activities. First of all, what are Creative Commons licenses and what have they been created for? Creative Commons is a global non-for-profit organization that enables sharing and reuse of creative and scientific works through the provision of free legal tools, the licenses. Back to presentation. CC licenses allow authors to define what types of reuse are permitted for their works without their formal permission. An important point to keep in mind is that reusing is different from citing, which is a right for everyone. To reuse copyrighted content without CC license, it requires copyright owner's authorization. But uh, if a CC license has been applied to the content, this authorization may already be given to you by the copyright owner. Creative Commons licenses can only be granted by copyright holders, authors, or publishers. And when a Creative Commons license um, is applied, the author remains the copyright owner. Of course, he must be credited and, depending on the license, give his permission for some specific reuse cases. What are uh, Creative Commons licenses used for? Uh, Creative Commons licenses are mainly used for open access publications. At the end of the publication process in an open access journal, you will be asked by your publisher to sign an agreement and apply a license. You will often have to choose between two or three uh, licenses, uh, more or less restrictive, and the open access fees can sometimes vary depending on the license you choose. Creative Commons licenses are used for open research data as well. Thesis can be made available under a CC license, and you can also apply a CC license for all documents published by yourself, technical reports, preprint, etc. What are the Creative Commons licenses? There are six CC licenses. Every license is summarized by a standardized icon system. The first icon, the by, the attribution, is mandatory. Uh, in all licenses, creators always have to be properly credited. The CC BY license is the more open one. It is recommended for maximum dissemination and use of licensed material because all reuse cases are permitted with this license. With a share alike license, the SA, new works resulting from materials under the share alike license must also be distributed under this same license. It is a kind of activist approach. If you already have seen the um, document published by the EPFL library, uh, very often uh, these documents are under uh, SA license. Uh, with non-commercial uh, licenses, uh, no commercial use can be done with the work, of course. And for example, it can prevent users, including you, to reuse the material in an article published by a for-profit society such as big commercial publishers. The last icon, the ND, no derivatives. With this one, no adaptation can be made with your work. Uh, this license prohibits users from adapting, remixing, transforming, translating, or updating the original work to create a new one. It is recommended not to use the ND license uh, in open access or open research data contexts. How to choose the right CC license? Depending on what you think that could or should be done with your work in the future, including by yourself, choose the more appropriate license. Here is a very uh, interesting citation from the Creative Commons Foundation. The best way to decide which is appropriate for you is to think about why you want to share your work and how you hope others will use that work. But there are also tools to help you uh, with the choice. For example, this one uh, created by the Creative Commons Foundation. And now I will try to illustrate with concrete examples how CC license can change uh, things for users. I have three uh, reuse cases. 
In the first one, I want to reuse uh, figures for illustrating a presentation during a conference. I am not the author of the figures. The second reuse case is uh, I am the author of an article and I want to deposit it in my institutional repository. And the third reuse case is uh, I am not the author of the figures, but I want to reuse them in uh, an article, so for commercial purposes. I have three uh, articles in which uh, the content are uh, present. The first one, this one, is not an open access article. It is a subscription-based article, so the permission is required for all my three reuse cases. How to request the permission? Here is a link, rights and permission. And by clicking this link, you will get this form. And uh, this uh, kind of form is used by most publishers. By filling in the information that corresponds to my first case, here is the price I get. So I have to go on to finalize the authorization and pay this uh, amount. For my second reuse case, I want to deposit my full article in my institutional repository. I have also, I can fill uh, the form, but the information uh, regarding the self archiving conditions are also uh, on the publisher website. So in this case, uh, by clicking on continue, you will get this message and uh, it means that you have to wait 12 months after publication before depositing your article in your institutional repository. For my third reuse case, I want to reuse figures for commercial purposes in an article. So uh, here it is free of charge, but uh, this reuse request is free of charge. Also, you are required to obtain a license through this form. So you have to obtain permission to reuse uh, the figures in an article, even if it is free of charge. With the second article, this one, it is an open access article under a CC BY NC ND license, the more restrictive one. For my first reuse case, I want to reuse a figure in a conference. If I click here uh, on this link, get rights and content, I will get this form again. And um, if I click on quick price, I will get this message. So there is no authorization to request for this reuse case because of the CC BY NC and the license. For my second reuse case, I want to deposit my uh, article in my institutional repository. I also can uh, use the form or check the uh, publisher's conditions on his website. And by clicking on continue or quick price, I will get the same message as previous. Uh, I am authorized to deposit my article because it is an open access article and institutional repositories are non-for-profit. But for my third reuse case, I want to reuse figure um, in uh, a new uh, article with a commercial publisher. Here, uh, by quick clicking on quick price, uh, it is free of charge, but again, you are required to obtain a license. So the permission is uh, mandatory for this reuse case. And with my third article, uh, here, is my third article. As you can see, it is an open access article. And if you check the license, here is the license reference. You can see that this article is under the CC BY license. So it means that my three reuse cases are allowed without permission in this case. What does it mean concretely? That uh, as users, uh, you can use uh, work uh, without CC license, but uh, they can be reused with explicit permission only from the copyright order. And sometimes this permission will not be granted for free. Whereas works published with CC license can be reused without permission as specified in the license. And as authors, if you publish in open access, you can choose the more open license to give your peers the opportunity to contribute to the advancement of knowledge, reusing and adapting your material without barriers. 
and you can also be a future reuser of your own content, so do not block yourself. How to attribute a Creative Commons license to a work? All co-authors must agree to apply a CC license. If you publish in an open access journal, publishers will generally do the necessary for you. And for all publication made by yourself, uh, works and data without publishers, you can refer to the license in the work itself uh, on the title page, the legal section or the readme. And this reference to the license should contain at least the author's names, the publication date and the name and stable URL of the license. Plus, if you want the license logo that you can find on the Creative Commons Foundation website. Here is an example that you can uh, use to apply licenses on your works. Where to find Creative Commons materials? Uh, scientific articles can be found through the directory of open access journal by searching articles or directly on publishers website, uh, restricting your search to open access content only. Data are shared uh, with many uh, free licenses in data repositories like Dryad, Fictions, Enodo, etc. And for images, uh, there are specialized specialized websites, sorry, uh, like CC Search and Google Images also offer uh, an option to search only CC licensed content. So thank you for your attention and I'm a, I am at your disposal for your questions.